What is happening guys? Welcome back to the Foam Warriors YouTube channel. My name is Patrick and today we're going to be doing a review over the Dark Zone Max Dictator. Let's check this thing out. Okay, so full disclosure, getting this out of the box was probably the roughest box I've ever had to unpack. I got battle wounds. I could bleed out while we're doing this. We'll see what happens. I'm leaking. I was kidding. <laughs> but, but no, this thing is uh, was crazy to get out of the box. I put the muzzle brake on. It's got a couple pieces that you can put up here up top, you know, just for looks. Really, really not going to help with performance at all. But one cool thing about this is it's got two 12-round clips and it's got this little adapter. You put a clip in this side and in this side, and then when you slide it in back here, you'll feel it secure in. And then if I wanna get it out, it's got this little clip release, and then I can pull it right out. So this is pretty cool, and it's smooth. It's not bad. Um, but, you know, I'm, a, I'm an average size guy. This is a big blaster but I like the way that it feels. I can already tell you, I've pulled the spring back a couple times, haven't shot it yet, I never do until we get on camera, um, but it's definitely a strong spring. So uh, I'm excited to see how this fires, which is the most important thing. So we're gonna set this up, we're gonna shoot at a target, and let's see how it does. Okay, so I'm about to do the firing demonstration on this thing. Um, there is a little green target up at that top of the shelf there. I'm gonna be trying to aim at, don't judge me by my aim. I'm about 50 feet away from it, so. Let's see how this game, this guy shoots. All right, I think I already cocked it back. I'm gonna use these sights. Ooh, close. I'm like right above it, right next to it. It shoots pretty straight. That for thing's the most part. super straight. Yeah, this is a pretty sick gun so far. I like it. My aim sucks, but I'm like literally you're right on right by it. Yeah. So. Oh, that hit, but it wasn't strong enough to make it. Did you see it move? Yep. Oh, uh, got it! That was way off. Close. I'm gonna switch my angles here. Oh, I'm out. Flip your clip around? Oh, what? Yeah, I forgot, so. Pull that down and then pull it out, yep. So this is super cool, and that would be really quick to do in the arena with the arrows to be pointed up. Yeah, yeah. Yep. All right, let's go again. And that's ready to go again. So you're basically got 24 in the mag uh, with two clips. That's awesome. Hit it again. This gun's pretty cool. I wish I was ambidextrous. How's the pullback on it? It's actually a pretty easy slide. I feel like kids could do this pretty easily. Um, I think maybe wearing a pair of gloves would probably be good because like my finger might keep sliding a little bit, not but the pullback is it, there's not much to do the pullback. So I think kids wouldn't have a problem doing it. Cause I see a lot of kids struggling with like pumps that are like usually trying to do this yeah. or they use their fingertips yeah. and they're trying to pull it. But yeah. I mean, it's, it's pretty solid and I feel like it, a, a kid could definitely do it. It's super accurate. Too. Yeah, it's, it's very accurate, there. very straight. Like I said, my, my aim is not the greatest, uh -huh. but I was pretty close to hitting that, that target. I like this gun. I do okay. like it. So this is the max, uh, the dart zone max dictator. That's what they call this. Um, yeah. So this is pretty cool. Shoots the, this is not compatible with the, uh, with the, uh, Regular size darts, only with the half darts. Yeah, half darts. It's a cool gun. Okay. Get yourselves one. All right, honey. It's got a little jam door and everything. Yeah, it's got a little jam door there. Of course, it's got the safeties that are useless. Nobody uses. Decent little design on it. Uh, but this thing is not bad. I like it. I like, of course, I like red too. So yeah. Like the colors. Pretty impressed with dart zone guns so far. They're pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty dope. Yeah. Okay, honey. Um, you want to tell them uh, who has the best arenas in the world? Foam Warriors has the best indoor nerf arenas in the world. Indoor foam combat. Arenas. Indoor foam combat. My bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, because these are like, <laughs> this is, a, yeah, exactly. So, okay. All right, uh, guys. So there you have it. That's the Max Dictator. And uh, if you like it, this definitely, I would say you could use this in a Foam Warriors arena. Oh, for yeah. Sure. I'm using this for uh, our Star Wars. Star Wars coming up. <laughs> okay, guys. Remember, we have the best arenas in the world. And if you are subscribed to the channel, you're always going to get special discounts when you come into a Foam Warriors arena. We'll see you on the next video. Have a good day.